My name is Omar um, from uh, Africa Archive, actually currently based in Malaysia. I'm here to share with you um, what a preprint is and in the context of open science. Um, particularly, my talks will be focused more on the African preprint server, which is um, Africa Archive, which is the largest, uh, I mean, the only African preprint server that we have. Uh, I am uh, actually a PhD student, recently got my PhD two months ago. Uh, I am affiliated with African Archive, being uh, a, a moderator there, and also a bioinformatics coordinator with Science Communication Hub Nigeria, and also a secretary to the Nigerian Bioinformatics and Genomics Network. Um, um, before I start, I will just want to share with you what the preprint servers are. The preprint servers are actually a cluster of computers where uh, scientists and researchers alike uh, from different disciplines often share them, their manuscripts uh, publicly available to the community for accessibility. So we do have uh, different kinds of uh, server based on the disciplines that uh, you fall in. Uh, the most popular ones, if you are in biology, is the bioarchive, which is based in the United States. Um, currently been hosted by Carl Haber Sprint Laboratories and uh, you can choose from where you want it to um, deposit based on your fields, be it pharmacology, pathology, biology, uh, microbiology, you can choose the, 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 the preference you may want to uh, submit your manuscript to. Um, we, other, we also have other uh, kind of uh, uh, archive that hosts natural sciences like mathematics and computer sciences, as well as quantitative biology. And um, in the context of uh, medical lines, we do have uh, Med Archive, which covers uh, those in public health and uh, occupational uh, uh, and environmental health. Uh, they usually deposit their manuscripts there. While um, for chemistry, they have a uh, chem archive where you can also deposit your um, research work. While in the African uh, continent, we have uh, African archive where we accept all kinds of uh, publications as well as data sets in different language within the continents of Africa. This is so because um, uh, some scientists in Africa, particularly, they do uh, a kind of research with their languages, local languages, and those languages are not actually visible um, because some of the journals that are published uh, within the African countries are mostly not online. They are actually being printed in hard copy forms. So um, we thought of uh, coming up with this uh, African archive so that we can help uh, scientists to discover more African scientists for maybe collaborations and other uh, visibility. So what is a preference? Um, a preference is actually a complete scientific documents that you may have, or uh, a manuscript, uh, so to call, uh, that you can publicly share or uh, make it available online freely uh, to be accessible by communities of scientists and researchers alike. And uh, it has some actually associated benefits, um, like um, you can get cited um, before your manuscript is being reviewed in the journals. You can also be exposed, people will get to know you, especially nowadays that most of the um, uh, uh, free prints, they usually have a Twitter handle, so which they uh, share your research online and people will get to know you, get to know your publications and you get, you may likely get funders and, uh, and scientific collaborators as well. And you can also get some feedback and um, if you get, uh, I mean, if uh, the, the, the paper maybe needs some uh, corrections or other things, uh, scientists will give you some kind of feedback before your manuscript is peer reviewed by the journals that you submitted to. And also it will uh, be freely available and having a DOI and you can get cited as I mentioned. So uh, we have uh, free prints repositories. Uh, they are actually basically divided into two, which are preprints and postprints. Uh, so the name implies preprints is just the complete manuscripts that you have and publicly shared before peer review in the journals, while the postprint is actually research articles that is peer reviewed and accepted for publications. 
So uh, I want to make an emphasis that uh, a preprint publishing, a preprint is not actually uh, publishing a journal. Uh, so and you may want to like uh, check out uh, Aromia to check whether uh, it is allowed by the journal that you wanted to submit your manuscript, just allow you to submit the versions of your paper in a preprint service or not. So uh, it is actually advisable for scientists to make use of this um, opportunity. It's freely online. So you can check it and make use of uh, the website, uh, Shefa Romia, and then you can key in the titles of the journals. Maybe you can key in maybe something like genome biology or nature, depending on the uh, targeted journals that you wanted to submit your manuscript to. And it will give you the details policy with which the journals is uh, having so that it will guide you whether to submit your manuscript to the preprints or not. So um, um, there are a number of uh, those African, uh, sorry, um, preprint servers around which are basically been in partnership with Open Science, uh, Center for Open Science, their open infrastructure. And uh, there are regionals and some are discipline specific preprints uh, repositories. So um, you can see African archive is also announced uh, among the open source infrastructure around. So in African archive, what we do is um, basically we, we, we provide a platforms for submissions of multiple publications formats. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can submit your data set, your presentations, your proposals and your manuscript as well, or even review papers, because we got to realize that uh, some preprint like bioarchive, they don't accept um, to submit a proposal or to submit a, a review paper or something like that. But in African archive, we allowed uh, uh, scientists around the African countries to submit these kinds of works because uh, we want to make it, uh, we want to make them uh, globally known and people will get to know them uh, so they, they can have collaboration sometimes. So um, we also promote the use of local languages uh, in that uh, we do have uh, a kind of, if we have research with the local language, we make sure that we translated the abstract into English version so that uh, global uh, scientific community can have access. We also build collaborations and increase African research visibility uh, across the globe. Also build and customize to fulfill the needs of African researchers. And we do all this uh, in partnership with uh, Zenodo, Open Science Framework and Open Publishings as well as Science Open to uh, use it like our own uh, repository before we build our own personal repository. We do that to increase visibility and discoverability across the Africa and globally uh, together. We also have a partnership with uh, Freeview and Science Open and PCI for the reviewing of the contents of the manuscript that is submitted to African Archive. We recently have also partnership with Fixture and Public uh, Knowledge uh, Public Knowledge Project. So what we accept in African Archive, we allow African scientists based in the continents of Africa to submit their work. We also allow African scientists who are currently based like me at other institutions uh, outside Africa to also submit their manuscripts there and also non-African scientists who report on research conducted in uh, African territory, preferably with African co-authors listed. And then we also allow non-African scientists who report on research related to African affairs. So here are our team of uh, curators and uh, community developers, as well as uh, site maintainers uh, who are actually maintaining the African archive site. And we also have a, a, a board of advisory boards. We have Joyce, who is the, uh, the, the executive director of, um, uh, of uh, training for, sci for science, in, sorry, training center in communications in Africa. As well, we have Mahmoud, who is the, the executive director for Science Communication Hope and African Literacy Science Network. Uh, whom we uh, put in place as our board advisory boards to uh, to be given some kind of advice and directions on African archive. 
So we have uh, multiple channels of communications uh, in which you can get in touch with us. Uh, if you are from Africa or if you are uh, African researchers, you can get in touch with us through uh, our Twitter handles, uh, email address. Uh, we also have a Slack channels that you can get in touch with us. We are institutions uh, or we also looking for collaborations from other institutions.